。ねぶりがまた叫んだ声が風に先き,かき消え消されかすかにしか聞こえないバカモノなお聞かねば助けられな助けかれらん、はい、So this right here It's actually grammar we've already learned, except for it has been turned into old man speech. For example, mm -hmm, right here is the same as um, nai. Taske dare nai. Taske dare nai became m mm, for old man ni. And kika nuba is the same as kika, kika na kereba. Na kereba. Hi. Hi. But it's just talking like an old man. Okay, so from the top, from the top. Neburi ga mata sakenda. Saken sakebu is from sakebu. Hi. Past tense of sakebu. Neburi yell once again. So. Koe ga kini kaki. Isn't this? Oh, it is kaki. Kaki kisare. I, I thought we learned a different kaki. You're right. I did show it to you a different word. This string here. Kaki kisare. To hmm. be caused to... The wind caused the voice to be drowned out. Oh. It's, it's the causative form, right? Sare? No, I don't know what this form... I don't know what... What form this verb is in, but it's... It, it's the issue is that I thought it was kiru, um, kiru, but it says kesu. So, kesu. This is the, uh, both so of them the, mean to drown out a sound. Uh, ketsure. This is the um imperative form, yeah. Um, no, sa sareru, kesu, kesareru would be the um causative, I think. Gosh, names. Kesu, kesu. Kesare. Yep, kesare yep. do. So, ah, uh, de do. Wait. Ah, de do. Oh, it's passive. Gosh. Deru, the passive form. The voice was drowned out by the wind. Yes. So, the wind is not the subject of the sentence. Hi. The subject is kon.、Uh, the subject is the voice. Was drowned, the voice was being acted on by the wind. The, the sound, right? Marked、yeah. by God. Sounds good. Hi. And then, uh, and and Kasukani, Kasukani is um, desperately, right? Uh, it's actually um, barely, barely. Kasukani shika only. Mm, shika is only, only, yeah, only.、Hi. Kiko and I.、Uh, barely able to. <laughs> Kiko and I. Not here, except for barely. So、Hi. you're barely able to hear. Exactly. He was barely able to hear the sound of the voice, which was being drowned out by the wind. And I'm、mm -hmm. really sorry about that. Except Kesu, for a little Kiedu, bit. Different. Understood. So this, this construction is. With the exception, just for the little bit that came out, he, he was able to hear the rest、oh. of it. It was drown, drowned out, he couldn't、exactly. hear anything, drowned out、um, by the wind. And then this say, Bakamono, he the, the old man yell, <clears throat> the neburiga over here. He said, and he say, Na o kika ne neba. If I don't get the name, if I can't hear the name, task. Mm. I won't be able to help. Perfect. Nice.、Um, do you have to know what this kanji is? To flow. So, so. Flow. Is this the same word from the first page?、Yep. When the fog、Hi. seep into the valley. Yes, this is the sentence right here. Is it? 
Kawakara Kusunda. Kusunda. Let me review this. It's been a while. Hai iro no kiri ga. And the reading for this is Ware, Ware? Because Nagare. <laughs> Nagare. Nagare komi. Rochi to you rochi wa. Makura yami. Let me let me try this one on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> okay, so Kawakara Kusunda from the river and you know wow I've got with Kusunda Kusumu 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 My hand is remember relative clauses Kusunda uh something describing the the color here cool, is... so kusuma is to be dark or to be dull dull a dull gray hairo kusunda hairo no kiri a dull gray f miss ga nagare komi seeps in uh, seep into the rochi to rochi the alley of the alley which literally mean like, like really like a back back alley kind of a thing. Typically, it's more like all alleys. All the alleys. Makurayami, completely dark. Hi. So in other words, all of the alleys are completely dark. And these alleys had fog that was gray flowing into them from the river. Hi. Usunda. Hi. Perfect. Do. Can you read the sentence for me? Yami no oku e hiki suberi komo to suru. Suberi. And I always forget this, but the suberi is the slip to slide oh. into to suru, to do the sliding into. Hiki is to pull. So to pull and slip into. Or the direction of the oku no yami inside of the shadow. Hi. What does otosuru mean? Otosuru is to attempt. Hi. To attempt to pull something into in a sliding kind of way. Perfect. To attempt to pull slide into the shadow. So, what does this say? Nagare dasu. Perfect. So, this means to flow out. Flow out. Hi. What does this say? Ishi kara kaze ga nagare dashita. From the rock, the wind flow out. Perfect. Our next word is uchi chukeru. This is actually to throw <laughs> into a wall. Specifically, it's um like a punch and then to attach, but it means like the throw. <laughs> Throw something and it hits oh. it. Uchi tsukeru. What's this kanji? Uchi. Hi. Uchi. Can you read the sentence for me? Sumetai kaze ga kabe ni suchi tsukeru. Suchi tsukeru? Su. Uchi. Hi. Uchi tsukeru. Perfect. So what does this mean? The cold wind smash or it's thrown at the wall. Hi. Throws into the wall. Throws bangs. Uh wall. it can also translate it as bang, so bangs into the wall. Hi. Um next word is hagishku, which is normally hagishi, an adjective. And this means very like harsh and violent. Hagishi. Kind of like adedu. I mean uh adedu that we saw earlier. But um adedu. Is a verb and hageshi and hageshiku are adjectives or adverbs. Hageshiku. You remember what sarani meant? Here's a random sentence with it. Sarani. Sarani. Sarani is not on the plate. It's the different sarani. <laughs> and this sarani referred to the oki kunari. Ishi wa sarani oki kunari. Hanaso toshitemo hanasenai. The stone become large. The stone become large in what way? 
it's uh it's it's sudden no is it sudden become large it's actually furthermore become become larger yep it's gotten even larger even larger ishi wa sarani okiku nari hana hana soto shite Hana, right? This is Hana. Yep. It's from Hanasu, right? So, Hana so to shite mo, um, and to separate, it's also Hana? Yes. There's two Hana. The top is Hana and the bottom is Hana too. Hai. So, Hana re nai. Okay, so the top say, attempt, even, even though um, I try to release it, I cannot separate. Hi. Perfect. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Kaze ga hageshiku nagare dashita. Hageshiku is to be harsh. Harsh. Right? Yep. Um, harshly. So the kaze harshly hageshiku nagera nage naga it flows out harshly. Hi. That's it could also mean like the start flowing. Um next is gui gui. Which, gui gui. Um I guess is pushing or pulling strongly. Seems off. Gui gui. Gui gui. Gui. It, it just is a weird sound effect. Gui gui, gui, gui. is pushing or pulling strongly. It is that. Gui gui. Gui gui. 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 Let's go read the sentence with gui gui in it. Fuku o gui gui to hikki suberi konda. Hai. Okay. So the the suberi konda or the hikki suberi konda the action is uh, being acted on at the clothing. Hai. Okay. You can just say something gui, gui. for now for the subject or the wind or whatever. Okay, so uh hikuri suberi konda the wind pull into the cloth the pull the clothing in right in the gui gui way. Yes, which is very um aggressively basically, very strongly. Well, it's oh. like it's it's almost one as Oh, that's a made-up sentence, I think, isn't it? Gui gui? No. <laughs> I mean, the clothing. I, I oh, have the, the clothing image is made up, you're right. In my head, like, this whirlwind is almost pulling nobody clothes off of him into the oh, no. whirlpool or something like that. So, so. <laughs> Definitely would be possible. Okay, let's go read our line from the book. Hai, kaze ga hageshiku uchitsuke. Ishi kara sarani even more. Sumetai kaze ga nagare dashi kori no yona yubi de gui gui to ore o yami no okue hikizuri komo to suru hikizuri komo so why do you think you need to start when you translate? I will start from the subject, so, which is... You kind of know it ends where that comma is. Hai, the kaze ga hageshiku uchisuke. The wind, it bang harshly. Hai. And siki ishikara sarani. The stone, even more. Uh, sume, sumetai uh, kaze ga nagare dashi. Uh, even the even colder, the wind flow out. The wind flow out. Um, uh, kori no yo na yube de. With a finger as cold as ice, gui gui to ore o. Um, 
え、え、え、闇、闇の奥へ。What's the direction from, from inside towards, towards inside the shadow? Um, ぷ、ぷいぐい。で、ひき、ひきずりこも。So to pull and the suri komo to suru attempt to pull, uh, attempted to pull and slide into the direction of the uh, shadow uh, eye. He pulled me. I was the direct object of this action so, in the gui gui to way. Hi. Nice. Do you know which ishi we were, ishi we were talking about here? The magical stone, so, the Mado so, so. Seki. Yeah. So from there, there's this something or some kind of a force from the Ishi. This wind, it's even colder than before, and it flows out of the rock. So, so. And like a cold, like a finger, it's almost like a fingers, not one finger, but more than one finger, I guess. So more. That would be it, by context. Cold as ice, and it. It kind of grab onto Khan and it pulls and slide him towards the shadow, the exactly. inner part of the shadow. Perfect. Now we're doing our kanji check, and this will be what we'll end to with the day. Remember how this is read? Hasukerare. Hi. Perfect. And this guy? Um, baka mono. Hi. And this one right here that I originally had you practice the wrong word for it? Kaki kisare. Not ki. That'd be ki Kesu. Edu. Kesu. Hi. Hi. Kesare. Kaki kesare. And this word? Nagare. Hi. And this guy? Uchi. Perfect. And that is where we're going to stop for today. Um, you want to guess how many pages we are in the physical book? Maybe we in fifth page? That's pretty close. I'll stop the recording. Where did it go?